to welcome the Pratham Science Academy classes. <laughs> and we are on to exercise 1.2 of chapter 1, real numbers. And uh, for question number 1, we have to prove that root 5 is irrational. So let's get started. And to prove that root 5 is irrational, let us assume that uh, contrary, let's contrary, let's assume that root 5 is rational. So we have to prove that it's irrational, but we have assumed that uh, root 5 is uh, rational. So if root 5 is rational, that means it can be written in the form a by b where b is not equal to 0. And let's assume here that a and b are co-primes. So a and b are co-primes. So a and b are co-primes means that they do not have any other common factor, prime common factor except one. Like 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 are co primes because they do not have any other common factor except 1. So here A and B are co primes, that means they cannot be divided by any other positive integer except 1. So let's cross multiply this, which gives us, if we cross multiply this, which gives us root 5 is equal to A. This is root 5 into B is equal to A. And if we square on both sides, so squaring on both sides, we get so the square of this is root 5b square is equal to a square. And when this is now equal to 5b square is equal to a square. Now, according to Euclid's division algorithm, so what does this mean? This means that a square. We have divided a square by 5. We get the coefficient b square and remainder 0. And according to uh, Euclid's division algorithm, the dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So here the dividend is a square, divisor is 5, quotient is b square plus remainder is 0. So this means that a square is divisible by 5. So we can write here that a square is divisible by 5. Now a square is divisible by 5. 5 is a prime number. So if a prime number divides the square of a number, so that means it divides that number as well. So we can rewrite that a is divisible by 5 as well. Okay. If A is divisible by 5 means that the remainder is 0. So let's say A is divisible by 5. We got some coefficient C and remainder 0. So now A can be written as 5 into C plus 0. So I can write A is equal to 5C where C is some positive where C is a positive integer. Now let's assume this as second and this as first set of equation. So if I replace the value of a in 1 I get so put 2 in 1 we get so this is 5 into b square is equal to a which is 5c the whole square. So this gives us 5b square is equal to 25c square. So it's 5, 5 is a 25. And it gives us, I can write it as b square is equal to 5c square. So we have got the same situation as the first one. So 5b square is equal to a square means a square is divisible by 5. Similarly, 5c square is equal to b square means that b square is divisible by 5 and 5 being a prime number if b square is divisible by 5 that means that b is 
divisible by 5. Now, B is divisible by 5 and A is also divisible by 5. But this contradicts our statement that A and B are co-primes. So that means A and B have at least 3, 5 as a common factor. So this gives that A and B have at least 5 as a common factor. So we have come to the situation where A and B have at least 5 as a common factor, but in the beginning we assumed that A and B are co-prime, that means they do not have any other factor except 1, but because we assumed it to be a rational number, so this we have got to the situation where 5 is a common factor, but this contradicts. So we can write here that, but this contradicts that A and B are four primes. So we have got to this contradiction has arisen because of our incorrect and we can write that this contradiction has arisen because of um, incorrect assumption that the assumption was that root 5 is rational that root 5 is uh, a rational number hence so we conclude that root 5 is irrational so we conclude that root 5 is irrational hence we have proved that root 5 is irrational let's move on to question number 2